Well, I hit my ball in the fairway, but it's in a puddle. So do the rules give me relief? Do I have to play it? Let's find out. We're in the fairway and the water's not supposed to be here. It's here temporarily because it rained last night. It's puddled up. This is a low spot. The water's probably going to be gone this afternoon, but how do I play it this morning? Let's look at the definition of temporary water to see if this situation applies. Temporary water is defined as any temporary accumulation of water on the surface of the ground such as puddles from rain or irrigation or an overflow of a body of water, that one is not in a penalty area, and two can be seen before or after the player takes a stance without pressing down excessively with his or her feet. It is not enough for the ground to be merely wet, muddy, or soft, or for the water to be momentarily visible as the player steps on the ground an accumulation of water must remain present either before or after the stance is taken. Some special cases, dew and frost are not temporary water. Snow and natural ice are either loose impediments or when on the ground, they are temporary water at the player's option. And manufactured ice is an obstruction. Based on the definition of temporary water, this ball is in temporary water. So according to rule 16.1, I do get free relief from this abnormal course condition. Let's talk about where and how to take relief. A very important part to taking relief is what you do with the golf ball. It's all about where the golf ball ends up to determine what your nearest point of complete relief is. And that's what we need to take, our nearest point of complete relief. I don't have to take relief though. So let's find out where our nearest point of complete relief is before we touch our golf ball. That should be the last thing we do touching our golf ball because once we pick it up, we have to take relief at that point. So let's find out where it is before we decide if that's what we want. So according to the rule, we said that it has to be the nearest point of complete relief. I can't jump up and down to try to make water come up out of the ground. The with my normal stance, where water comes up. And I measure it by where that ball is going to be. So first I'm gonna measure from this side. And I'm not getting any water come up at my feet, so I'm gonna put a T in the ground right here. Now I'm gonna check behind, and I got water, 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 Water still coming up. Okay, I'm about here. You can hardly see me. That's not closer, so I'm not even gonna put a T down. Now I'm gonna check how close do I have to come this direction. I'm still getting water come up. And if I were to measure that spot there, I know for a fact that that is not gonna be any closer as well. So this is gonna be my nearest point of relief. That's my reference point, that nearest point. And I get one length. From that point, no closer to the hole, on an arc back here, so I can drop it anywhere in this arc point there. And now I can pick up my ball and take that relief. So now my ball is in play. I can pick up the tees. My ball is safely in play. No penalty. Play on. So there you have it everyone, temporary water. Whether or not your ball is considered to be in temporary water determined by the definition. So know the definition, you can know if you will get free relief or not. Don't touch your ball until you're exactly sure if you do get relief and where that relief is going to be. So I hope understanding this rule will help you out when you play right after the rain or in the rain and whether or not you can take free relief. Knowing the rules can sometimes pay big 
dividends. So let us know in the comments below if this rule understanding helped you and what other rules you might want us to help explain in the future. Until next time, click the like button, hit subscribe, share the video, and as always, keep practicing.